what do I think about multi-tier selling, um, pyramid schemes, uh, Ponzi schemes, MMM schemes? They're all part and parcel of the same thing in many ways. Um, they share similarities. They share the same structure in many ways. If you get in early, you make the money. If you get in late, you could lose everything. Um, the legacy scandal was a Ponzi scheme where basically if you got in late, you lost your money. But it was insured by a Philippines banking insurance, uh, which is... Therefore, protecting against bankruptcies. Not that this whole scheme was based around the fact, don't worry, it's insured anyway. So if it does go south, don't, you're okay. Um, basically, basically, they use and abuse the system. Um, it's based on the fact that if you invest in early, it's like the first investments were invest now and double your money in 12 months. And by the end, it was getting something like... Uh, w money in three years, that sort of thing, because obviously the money's drying up because it relies on new people investing to pay the people already in the system. That's how it works. Multi-tier systems are pyramids. Um, it doesn't matter how you define it, and the first thing people normally say is, this is not a pyramid scheme. It's a multi-tier marketing system. It's a pyramid scheme. Um, an example of this was a load business we bought. We actually bought it for being a load business. We didn't actually buy into it to sell it to other people. It was, we bought it. If it worked well, we'd sell it to other people because it worked. It wasn't a case of, this is a great investment. Invest now. Um, it cost about 10,000 pesos. And the first thing you get with that is the guy that sold it to you will get 5,000. Then the other 5,000 go at the people up the pyramid. Um, and then they get a share of your sales or whatever. The first thing I want to say on that is this system didn't work properly. Um, the computerized load system didn't work at all, and the loading with the phone, nine times out of ten in peak hours, they didn't load. So as a low business, it was a failed venture. And now uh, the guy that sold it to me spoke to the guy, that, the CEO of the company, and they were aware that the infrastructure was crap. They had no interest in investing in the infrastructure itself, just selling the marketing. Um, and it's pretty sad because the fact is they've got a business there that is very viable if they actually bother to think beyond today. Um, because the fact is you've got a system that is being used by about this amount and yet it can only actually support this amount so the fact is in peak hours it's overloaded can't do the job yet it's got people saying we want it we want to use it and the guy at the top's going i don't want to invest any more money in this and you're like you're an idiot because the fact is you you still got people selling it so it's somewhere out here where people actually want to use it and you're actually destroying your own marketplace because as people say it's crap they turn around and ditch it. And then somebody says, have you heard about this scheme? Yeah, it's rubbish. We invested in that, blah, blah, blah. And it, it whittles down to the point that they go, stop, we've got another marketing scheme. We've got another one over here on something else. It's exactly the same, blah, blah, blah. And that's how they do it. You'll find that a lot of the people doing the marketing um, don't sell one product. They might be selling 15 because they know they're not good products. Um, I'm quite happy to promote a product that I believe in. Uh, things like vitamins I do not believe in. This box is only worth 50 cents. You put it in a bigger box and sell it for $30, that is not a good investment. But at the, the same time, these people, that's the sort of crap they sell. I just don't agree with their product. If it was a, a very good product, then I would agree with it. But the problem I have is... My wife, for example, had a doctor that sold vitamins as if they were medication at premium rates. So people spend, say, 5,000 pesos on vitamins. Next week, their child is very sick and they've got no money for paying for the medical bill. Child dies. Why? Because they, their doctor advised them to buy medication, which is actually vitamins, um, so that she can have a free cruise with one of these marketing companies. Um, that's my thoughts on these types of ventures. Yeah.